So what's going on guys, welcome back to another FA Cup vlog. This time we are with Reeve Yo. for the fifth round of the Emirates FA Cup. Um, a little bit different for a starter of this vlog. Today, we're going to be uh, well, taking... Well, for one, I'm here. Well, yeah, that, I mean, is, yeah. that is a different... Yeah. This is the first FA Cup vlog he's actually featured in together with me, yeah. instead of doing our separate thing. Yeah. But today, we're going to be taking part in a FIFA match to decide who's going to win between Millwall and Leicester City. Obviously, I'm going to the Sutton versus Arsenal game. Unfortunately, Sutton aren't on FIFA. So EA Sports, I think they need to sort the game out. You do need to sort the game out. So later on in the vlog, I'm going to the Sutton versus Arsenal game. What game are you going to? I'm going to the Wolves versus Chelsea game. And we did that match on your channel. We so did. guys, make sure you go check that out. But as I said, today we're doing Millwall versus Leicester. The reasoning behind that is currently we're in Leicester. You're going to be Leicester. I am indeed. I'm going to be Millwall. But before we start the match, you guys need to sign up to the Every Gamers Adventure. The link to that is in the description below. If you remember last year we did it, me and Reeve both went to that, um, and it got held at Wembley Stadium. So if you sign up for free, you could have a chance of playing FIFA for your club that you support at Wembley Stadium. On the hallowed turf. But without further ado, let's crack on into the Millwall versus Leicester game <sighs> and see how the result pans out. Because let's face it, the result with FIFA will most likely equate the result in real life. I mean, that's how it works, yeah, man. Yeah. Right, the teams have been selected. The game is starting. The Emirates FA Cup fifth round tie between Millwall and Leicester. And it's live. Okay, here we go. Oh no, you shut the front door. Oh, oh you beauty! He's not doing that in real life, I can tell you that for sure. Well, he could do. No, I mean, he could, but he's not playing like that, is what I mean. How have you even bought that? That's a chest, and that's like goal of the season in real life. Right, 1-0 after five minutes. Let's see how this goes for me. It can be a long game, man. Oh, oh Vardy, you're in. Is it going to be 2-0? <laughs> Saying that, so hopeful that it wouldn't go in as well. Oh. You actually just like round the corner, in, dish. That's bang. classic Jamie Vardy, but we haven't seen any of that. Has we? That's a really good finish well. 2-0 to Leicester City. Right, ready for this goal. Oh. Professional foul. I'll take it. Oh my god, it's actually gone in! I thought it got over. I hate this camera angle. What is that Casper Schmeichel, you absolute buffoon. His dad would have saved that. <laughs> Look like this. Oh, crud. <laughs> you can't leave that in as well. <laughs> oh, I thought Pepper Army had missed it, but he's actually scored. Oh, that's just I mean, just, he's just upsetting his Algerian perfect teammate. That's what it That's an assist. Yeah. Algeria to Algeria. Yeah. Oh no. Musa versus Craig. Oh, you've actually. <laughs> you Oh, dear. Yes! He burnt him. He put the nitrous on and he was absolutely gone. Did you see gone. that gas? Oh, wait, it was this part. It was Craig. Bang! Oh no. <laughs> see you later. And that's a slotted it away nicely, mate. Right. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Get rid! Gregory! Oh dear! Oh, Gregor! You've chilled it down, mate, sorry. That's it. Have I? Oh! No! I? No Have way! I? Have I? Oh. oh, mate, this is it. We've got two minutes to get back in the game. But it does end 4 2. There we go. Six score through the mate. But of course, guys, it is now time to head off to the Sutton United versus Arsenal match at the home of Sutton. Enjoy. Is it fun? It's, oh, it's a brilliant atmosphere. Um, Absolutely unreal, yeah. I'm buzzing for Arsenal to win, but at the same time, I sort of want Sutton Five, to win. 5-4 would be a good game. Oh, that'd that's be the kind of game. Yeah, that's what we're talking here. And obviously, you're going to the Wolves Chelsea. Beat Chelsea. Yeah. So hopefully, that'll be a high-scoring contest as exactly. well. Exactly. I will leave a link to your video in the description below. Be well, sure I can't really say that on yours, because sure, it's your be video. Sure to, be sure to go check out Reeves' channel. His link is also in the description below, guys. Um, don't forget to sign up to the Every Gamers Adventure. Ooh. The link to that is in the description below. And without further ado, let's go into the future and head off to Sutton versus Arsenal. <laughs> and just like that, it is now Monday the 20th of February and it is officially game day for Sutton United versus Arsenal for the Emirates FA Cup fifth round draw. I am very, very excited. Now, just to recap some of the games that have gone on this weekend, okay? A huge upset. Lincoln 
beat Burnley 1-0. And that means they're the first non-league side to make the quarterfinals. And I believe it's either over 100 years or like ever. Middlesbrough beat Oxford 3-2. Millwall beat Leicester, the Premier League champions 1-0. City drew to Huddersfield 0-0. Chelsea beat Wolves 2-0, which Reeve went to. Spurs beat Fulham 3-0. And United beat Blackburn 2-1. Today, as I said, is Arsenal beat Sutton. A part of me wants Sutton to win just because it will be heroic, historic and memorable but the other half obviously wants Arsenal to win as I'm an Arsenal fan and the quarterfinal draw has already been made. The winner of this game will face Lincoln City in the quarterfinal. What a game that will be for both sides um, but first of all Arsenal will have to win this game to get it through and without further ado guys I've just had a swim, I'm feeling good, let's go to the game. Easier than having the pressure of being funny, being funny yeah. is quite difficult. Right, and just like that, I've arrived in Sutton. I've got some Tic Tacs in my mouth. It's a really, actually, a quick journey. I thought it was going to be a little bit more traffic on the motorway. It is quite mild, okay? I didn't bring my massive ski coat I usually bring. I've only brought this one with me because I, I was hoping it was going to be quite mild. And the wind is quite warm through my fingers. Also, I'm hoping you're liking the new camera. Last week's weekly vlog was filmed on my phone because I broke my old G7X. This you're watching on right now is the G7X Mark II, and it does look a little bit clearer. I've also got a new, like, hair for the top of it. Um, so hopefully you shouldn't be hearing much wind. But next up is Meet the Geezer. I am meeting and heading inside the stadium. Right, so I'm outside the stadium. Look, if you can see here, it says the next game is Arsenal. And I'm with Max, who tweeted me. Okay, you are well, you're basically a huge Sutton fan. Yeah. Does Sutton YouTube, so go check him out. What's your, what's your YouTube uh, channel? MGC Vlog Take 2. There you go, and quick score prediction, first one of the uh, day. 2-1 Sutton. 2-1 Sutton. So guys, we're now inside this stadium. I'm joined by Busy Five Lives, Conor McNamara. 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 First rule so of commentary, you got to get the names right. I was like, I'm, I have pretty bad pronunciation anyway. People on my YouTube channel know it's like, 500 takes for me. Um, obviously, this spectacle is absolutely amazing. What is your most exciting Emirates of the Cup like moment, memory to date? Well, I was really fortunate, funny way around. The first commentary I ever did was the FA Cup final, which is remarkable because well, normally people would work their way up and that would be sort of you know a pinnacle of their yeah. career. I was working long story short, I was working for a station on it, we got the rights to do the FA Cup, but they, they'd never done the games before, they didn't have a commentator, and they asked me to do it, so suddenly I'm there, my very first game I've ever done, I'm sitting at Wembley, the old <laughs> Wembley, it's 1997, it's Chelsea against Middlesbrough, and I've written out all these notes of things I want to say, and I've never really done it before, and then that was the year where Chelsea scored after 22 seconds, whatever it was, Roberto Di Matteo, so it was one of these famous early goals, which was the yeah. best thing that could ever happen to me, because it just calmed me down, That's and I was actually just relaxed and get into it then, but um, in terms of FA Cup memories, it'll go away to, to match that but I've been really lucky to, to be in you know, the, the big finals, the, the big semi-finals, but then also games like this when you get a non-league team against a Premier League team, which for me are the best fun because yeah. this, it, it's such a mismatch. It's, like coming in the stadium, it was absolutely amazing. Like the, the players literally got off the bus, walked through all the fans. I was like, this is so like alien to the Premier League. Um, speaking of like, I was your first ever commentator and you were quite nervous. How do you now prepare for commentating matches like this where you may not have heard of like, all the players or the like, everyday how do you sure, I mean, even sort of 10 years ago, it would have been a case of coming down here for an open day and you'd, you'd meet the players after training and maybe not as much of a, of a pressure on their time. But um, as time has gone on, internet's just such a resource and you're able to get the pictures of people, you're able to get all the details of their career, all their statistics, you can watch the videos of their previous matches. So you can you can get so much just, just sort of sitting at home. The way I do my notes, if you're interested in seeing it, yes, can, please. I've take always a, been in Pitch this to put your still up if you want. But I, I, I do up a, a little sticker for each player. Yeah. Um, so you've got a guy here, so if, you, if we take, let's take for example Craig Eastman here, now he's a former Arsenal player, he played for Arsene Wenger in the Champions League, he's up against his old club today, this sort of example of the, the little piece of information, he's not scored at all this season, so if he scores tonight, I've got that on my notes, it's his first goal of the season. This one here in green for Papi Gay, he's never scored ever for Sutton, so if he scores I can say, it's the first goal he's ever scored, so these are just little triggers for me, little things like this, he scored a penalty against Leeds in the last round, if they get a penalty, if he steps up, I've got that information. And we've got been Wayne Shaw has been in the news a lot as obviously 45 years old. Yeah, the veteran goalkeeper. <laughs> he sort of joined really as their goalkeeping coach. He's only there for emergencies. And, you know, it'll be an amazing story. If this guy comes on, this is the sort of thing that will go viral around the world because yeah. with the greatest respect to him, and he knows it, he does not look like a professional <laughs> footballer and he could be up against Arsenal today. That will definitely be the best day of his yeah, life. Exactly. Well, final question. Yeah. Can Sutton United do it? 
Ever since Leicester won the Premier League last year, everything is possible, <laughs> and I'm not saying no to anything. It's a complete mismatch, but look around. All these media, photographers, journalists from all the newspapers, YouTube people, why are we here? If we knew for certain Arsenal were going to win, we wouldn't be here. We're all here, we're trying to capture lightning in a jar. It's very, very unlikely it'll happen, but if it does, we want to be the ones holding the jar. So that's why we're here. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Top stuff. Really you. enjoyed it. Thank awesome. you. Okay, so we're now pitch side with the legend that is Dan Walker. Legend? Yes. Strong, legend. strong word. A <laughs> um, couple of questions. Yes. Obviously, this is an like, insane occasion. Would you say it's up there one of the most exciting opportunities you've ever had to present? I love this sort of thing. Um, in the recent, recent years, we've had some wonderful nights in the FA Cup. Right when the BBC got the rights back, we went to Warrington and they managed to win uh, in the first round. We've been to Blythe Spartans who managed to see off Hartlepool. We've sent, sent so many of those lower teams taking on league size and this is a level up. And this is, this is a team from the National League. It's, it's mad. This is something nice. You've got their own FA Cup history as well. Yeah. You know, the whole Coventry game. It's even like Arsenal. Arsenal just played Bayern Munich and now they're coming here to play on plastic Someone teams. just told me as well, if any of the Germans play like Mustafi players, <laughs> then apparently that's the first World Cup winner they've had in like since Jack Chelton. So, so you've got you've got you've got <laughs> I'm gonna write that down. You've got more stats than me. So so thank you so much man, I appreciate pleasure. it. I'm just gonna go and interview Arsene Wenger in the same room that the reserve goalkeeper sleeps three nights a week. That my friend is not me <laughs> football. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. See you later. Right, see you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so we're with a couple of Sutton fans. What do you think the score is going to be, mate? Um, 2-1 Sutton. 2-1 Sutton? Yeah. Are you, is this the biggest game you've ever been to in your life for Sutton? Yeah. yeah. Alright, 2-1 Sutton, you've heard it here first. Okay, so I'm now in the away dugout where Arsenal are going to be sitting. Look at this, this is literally the standard I, I usually play. I just met like quite a few of you guys on the, uh, on the the around the pitch. Um, this is just crazy, like this is absolutely crazy. Like it's so surreal, like imagine being a Sutton player. This is mad. They're gonna come out and warm up in a bit and I'll get some cool shots. So, there's quite a lot of subscribers around here. If we turn the camera around. Oh! Oh, should we go hello? Oh god, it's gonna come out of the Wembley Cup all over again. <laughs> Let's get down to business. So we've spotted the BBC studios up there, Mr Lineker and Alan Shearer up there. There's only one way to get past the goal and that is, oh my god, we're on the pitch. But it doesn't feel like a pitch because it's an Astro. I'm going to the inside the goal. This is where Arsenal are going to score hopefully. across to cover and Perez goes all the way 1-0 Arsenal Perez was like a cross shot and it's gone in the back of the net I don't know if he meant it or not but it's 1-0 play it what are you doing half time 1-0 Arsenal right so it's half time we've had a few viewers come up and say, oh you said you got you guys promised you wouldn't scream and shout. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> right, one nil Arsenal. What's the final score going to be? Three one. Three one. Three one. Two one. Three one. Three one. Three one. Three one. Two. Two one to Arsenal. To Arsenal. To Arsenal. Oh, oh, you've caused an argument there, mate. It's neat. It's Monreal, and it's Wilcott. Two nil Arsenal. Constant pressure from Arsenal, and it's a tap in from Wilcott. Here we go, boys. Alexis Sanchez is coming on. Obviously, like, they don't need him, but for the Sutton fans and the Sutton players to play against Sanchez is going to be a real honour. Oh, go on, hit it. Oh.
tell you what though, Sutton lost, but this is a real FA Cup Cup story. Look at this, this is what the magic of the Cup is all about. I can only assume that is the BBC camera. Oh my word. Even though Sutton lost, you happy about like, the day? You enjoyed yourself, yeah? Yeah, Awesome. Right, that's enough. <laughs> And just like that, I'm out of the ground and literally probably one of the best games I've been to. Like it wasn't the most exciting match. But the whole experience was just so cool. Like it really felt like the magic of the FA Cup was well and truly back. Like the atmosphere was amazing. Everyone was just happy and buzzing. There was a pitch invasion. Obviously that shouldn't have happened, but you can't stop fans and they're so excited how far they've come in the cup. And that is that. I'm now back in the car ready to go home and as I said before, such a great match, such a great FA Cup uh, story, experience, you name it. Don't forget guys, if you do want to feature in a film which is going to be played after the final at Wembley Stadium, be sure to post online your hashtag cup story using photos, videos, loads of you have already done it and some of them are pretty epic. Obviously I reckon some of you are going to have some stories to tell from the Sutton v Arsenal game, but next up for Arsenal is Lincoln City at the Emirates. But if you have enjoyed this video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Huge thank you to the Emirates FA Cup and the FA uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in another vlog very soon so until then guys I'll see you later